What's going on, over buddies? I'm Chris Williams, and this is the Overblood Community Video Thingy, a weekly show where I spotlight some of the things that's been going on with Game Informer and their community. But before we get into that, let's go over the topic of the week. So Avengers came out this week. I haven't seen it, so don't spoil it. I absolutely love that one scene when the Hulk, he got like really, really mad. Damn it, just spoiled it for me. So what is it that makes the Avengers so special? Scarlett Johansson's butt? Chris Hemsworth without a shirt? Well, I'm sure that helped, but it's the fact that after like a thousand years of people wanting to see these characters on screen, we finally got it. So my very simple question to you is, are there any video game characters that you'd like to see cross over in an actual story-driven game? I say story-driven because Smash Brothers and Sonic and Mario Olympics just, they don't count. I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you. Now, who are the characters and why are they working together? Let me know down below. For me, I always had a dumb idea as a kid because I didn't really understand how licensing worked, where it would be... Axel from Streets of Rage, Boogerman from, you know, Boogerman, and Earthworm Jim. They all have to come out of retirement, and then they gotta fight Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, I was a Sega kid, and yes, I had a lot of time on my hands. Now before we get to the community spotlight, let's go over last week's topic and announce the person who won the random monthly drawing. Don't forget that by participating in the topic of the week, you are automatically entered into a random drawing where at the end of the month, one lucky person is randomly chosen to win a $20 gaming gift card. Did I mention it's random? Now, the three people up for the April drawing are Justin Gryffindor, uh, Zach Pennington, and Joel Famotanos. Wargo. And the winner for the month of April is... Justin Gryffindor! Congratulations, good sir. I will be getting in contact with you soon to figure out how you'd like your $20 code. Now, for last week's topic, I asked the community if they could turn one movie into a video game, what would it be? And here are just some of the answers I got. Bayou Hilly said a Rocky Horror Picture Show game where you frantically have to hide and find any way to escape while the crazy Dr. Frankenfurter and his cohorts chase you down. That literally sounds like the greatest thing ever. Why, oh why would you, why would you put this in my head? I'm never gonna get this game and now I want it. Hillary, go to Kickstarter and make it a thing. Do it now or you're banned. The ban hammer's coming. <laughs> Adam Clark obviously has a case of the Lacooties because he showed up and said, I literally can't think of a single movie I'd turn into a game. Adam, that, that's the whole point of the topic, buddy. You just say something funny. You say something creative. But nope, not you. You're just like, I got nothing. I got nothing to say. Thanks. Thanks for participating. Really, really appreciate it. Now, uh, lastly, we have our first randomly selected finalist for the month of... It's gonna be me. Jacoby Brannigan, who said Manhunt 3, a Serbian game. You, you, do you, do you even know what that would mean? You boy, boy! Imagine that as a quick time event, you sick son of a bitch. Thanks for commenting. Now it's time for the segment I have to do every week until I convince that old gypsy woman to lift her curse off of me. That's right. It's time for another Overblood side group. This week, the side group shout out goes to the Hollow Hangout. Basically, it's a group full of people praising the sun. Sadly, not the right sun. Uh, if you're a fan of the Dark Souls or the Bloodborne and you're not in the group, you should absolutely check it out. Link down below. Click at your own risk. And remember, I warned you. And finally, it's time for the reason we're all here, Game Informer. Remember, every week I spotlight just a few of the things that Game Informer's done throughout the week that's interested me the most. But don't worry, I've got a lot more of their content linked down below. First off, let's talk about that podcast. Mr. Muffin Girl himself, and if you get that reference, you are amazing. Along with Tim Turry and Jeff Cork and Kyle Hilliard, all talked about Broken Age, State of Decay, some of the games they've recently been playing, and they interviewed Dylan Cuthbert, who he helped code Star Fox. He worked in Nintendo in the early 90s. A lot of cool inside information. If you like Nintendo, you should absolutely check out that interview. Very, very cool. We've also got this week's replay where the crew played a game called Hell Knight. And dare I say, this game looks like a prime candidate 
for a future Super Replay. And speaking of Super Replays, we've got the Super Replay that the community voted for. That's right, Episode 1, Conquers Bad Fur Day. You people wanted it. You people got it. Now, since I'm usually promoting the video side of Game Informer, I thought I'd end things on two features that I came across that I really enjoyed. First, we have Tim Turry's Top 10 Sonic the Hedgehog games of all time. What I like most about this feature, other than it being a top 10 list, of course, is that at the beginning, Tim goes into his early days of playing games and his days as an intern at Game Informer, which I don't actually think I've really ever heard him talk about. So very, very cool. Links down below for that. Like I say, links for everything down below. Um, and finally, to end this week's video, I wanted to mention something Kim Wallace recently uh, wrote titled, How Persona Social Links Can Make You a Better Person. I thought this was a perfect article to spotlight because the group loves Persona, and I really liked how Kim was able to show how a mechanic in a video game could like transcend itself and make the player a better person. It's just it's really cool. Uh, one of my favorite things I've read on the site in a long time. Uh, absolutely check it out, and don't forget, like I said, everything is linked down below. Well, this has been the Overblood Community video thingy, and if you're watching this, it means you're awesome. Later, guys.